Blazing Brothers Circus will soon be out, will be without some of its most iconic performers. The company announced today it's phasing out the elephants. Fox 5's Alina Bowman is here with the reason behind the decision. Alina. Jen, Andrew, well, in 2014, Oakland became, became one of the first U.S. cities to ban the use of bullhooks, a tool used to be inserted into an elephant's skin to train them and corral them. Local legislation like that one paired with allegations of animal cruelty all surround the decision to take the elephants out of the show. They're big, majestic, and have been the starring act of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus for the last century. But an announcement made Thursday morning, come 2018, the Elephant Act will be retired from the show. A company spokesperson said in part, This decision was not easy, but it is in the best interest of our company, our elephants, and our customers. The company does not admit to any specific incident of animal abuse, but claims the decision is due to the growing public concern about how the animals are treated. Feeding them, subjecting them to pain, um, forcing them to perform. They live most of their lives in boxcars on trains. The Elephant Act has been the target of attack by animal rights groups for years. In 2011, the circus was fined 270000 by the USDA for violations of the Animal Welfare Act. But after years of litigation over unproven allegations, in 2014, joint animal rights groups paid Ringling Brothers $16 million for damages, according to the Huffington Post. But independent activist Ellen Erickson said, this decision is just a PR stunt to help dwindling sales. I think it's a ploy to um, capitalize on the elephants even more. The elephants, you know, that's their big ticket item are the elephants. But Ringling Brothers has many other animals that are enslaved and forced to perform. Ringling Brothers stated it would return its traveling elephants to the Center for Elephant Conservation in Florida. But what will happen to the elephants after that and why they are waiting three years to do this are all questions we had for the company, but their representative did not get back to us in time for this newscast, Jen.